Hey everybody, it's Naya. Welcome back to Naya vs. Mouse. Hey guys, it is Saturday night and I decided that what better way to spend the weekend than with my book. This video was totally unplanned. I had just started organizing my books and I was thinking, you know what? Maybe I should film this just because I know a lot of you guys do not believe me when I say that I organize my books I know the proof is in the pudding and my pudding be splotchy <laughs> Yeah, but I promise I do organize my method with organizing my bookshelves well, I, I don't really have a method, but I know when most people do bookshelf organizations, they pull every book off of their shelf and then go and like rainbow it or separate it by author. I am lazy. <laughs> Hello? Hey, I'm in the middle of filming. Can I call you right back? Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Also, it's very late at night and I can only commit to one like section of a shelf at a time because I have a lot of books. Also, if I seem a little disheveled, um, I, like I said, wasn't planning on filming this. My hair was in a scrunchie all day, hence why it's like doing things. But yeah, okay, so what was I doing before I decided to pull out the camera? So this shelf right here used to be my ARC shelf. ARC stands for, it means advanced reader copy, and it's basically those books that haven't come out yet that publishers send me to read and review. This shelf has become a mix of like arcs and not arcs and I kind of want to return it to its arc state. So yes, I will be taking my advanced reader copies off of here as well as some that I have in here um, and then removing the like final copies that I have from this shelf and probably putting them on this shelf or this very bottom. Oh god, we're not even gonna look at that one down here. Look at that. Okay, no, don't. <laughs> I'm gonna try and also organize them by date, but that's 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 a real stretch. So I don't know if we'll get that far. So this is kind of gonna be a chit chat slash Naya's gonna try and organize you guys know the deal so we're just gonna yeah okay so I'm guess I'm gonna kind of have to take all of these books off of here first to get to my arc book down there but but how are you guys on this lovely Saturday night well it's probably like Sunday when you're watching this I hope everyone's having a relaxing Sunday I know I know Sundays can be stressful because you have to start school or work on the following day and it's just not good I don't know who needs to hear this today but just take it easy on yourself you're doing great you're raising your kids wonderfully you're gonna pass that test you're gonna get a promotion your manager will hopefully not be an asshole tomorrow <laughs> change of plans I think I'm actually just gonna pull everything off of this one shelf since I'm only doing one shelf tonight um, and then like start separating once I get it on the ground I feel like that'll be easier did I tell you guys that I'm considering ordering another book cart I know, I know, I know you're gonna get a sister and I promise I, I will love you just as much as her. tell but I just pulled off all of those books up here and all the ones here that weren't arcs these are the arcs that I currently have it's actually still a bit more organized than I thought it was you guys can't see but I have a giant pile of books down here so I'm just gonna start separating the arc I need to finish this arc so bad middle game by Shawnee McGuire see the cover of this arc I want to do a like cover recreation video do maybe like six or seven cover recreations that would be so cool so what are you guys reading I am currently a 50 pages away from finishing The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelidis. Oh my god, this book is so good. I know I was just talking about it in my last video. There are so many characters in this book. Like it's one of those books where every chapter a new character gets introduced and they end up influencing the story. If you don't know what the book's about, it's about this girl who basically murdered her husband and then afterwards went silent and didn't say anything. Everybody knew like she was totally in love with her husband so the fact that she kind Kind of like shot and killed him <laughs> was just totally out of the blue yeah so we're following her psychotherapist and he is well he has a lot of problems of his own which is like a whole nother plot line that i didn't know was like a part of the book but it's just as good as like the main plot of her not talking oh i really really have to read this one okay i'm gonna put this one over here do you guys hear that thunder I hear thunder it's currently storming which is why I started kind of like organizing in the first place I don't know why I just really love kind of cleaning when it's raining I just think it's 
therapeutic. I lost my train of thought. Oh, okay. Alex, right, or the silent patient. Okay. But yeah, so we have this like whole backstory with a therapist and he's having his own sort of like relationship issues. Um, and he's kind of letting it affect his therapy work with the patient. And it's, yeah, it gets kind of... I have not been able to predict anything in the book at all, which is saying a lot because normally I can like predict, you know, some stuff in a thriller. Usually thrillers follow a certain pattern. Actually, I think I might put this one, Bloom, in my graphic novel section because it's technically a graphic novel. No, we're gonna, it's an arc, so we're gonna put it with the arts organization. <laughs> really enjoying that one and I have a feeling I'm gonna finish it tonight if I can get this organization done first. A Madness So Discreet. This one was a thriller too, right? I'm just on a thriller kick. Oh, you guys, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to see if you guys would think this was a good idea. You know I sound like a hypocrite because I was just saying how I don't ever do like large-scale organization stuff. But no, I recently kind of started turning my little white bookshelf here on the left-hand side into a thriller shelf where I put all my favorite thrillers. Um, excuse me, you guys are arcs. Sorry, I'm bad at multitasking. I feel like I have enough of each genre to do like a individual shelf. Well, not like a full bookshelf, but just one bookshelf dedicated to each genre. I at least want to do like a thriller shelf where I keep all my thriller slash suspense books. Strictly thriller, psychological thriller, and suspense, not like fantasy thriller or anything like that. But yeah, let me know if you think that's a good idea because I, that'll be my next organizational video. Oh my god, this book. Okay, I have been binge watching Outlander because they just added it on Netflix and you guys don't, don't laugh at me, but like I'm still on season one. I am only like eight episodes into season one, I think. Even though I read Outlander, I think, was it in 2017 when I read it? I only got like 150 pages into the second book and I really want to continue it. I think the audiobook is on Scribd, so if it is, I might jump into this. Oh my god, okay. Speaking of jumping into books, you guys know I'm currently reading five books. Well, soon to be four books, because, or actually soon to be three books. Almost done reading Renegades, which it was a little predictable for the ending for me with that book well as a silent patient so really i'm only like reading three books now because i'll probably finish those two tonight i recently saw a trailer for the amc adaptation of a discovery of witches by deborah harkinson i believe that's the author i kid you not this was one of the first books i bought when i was like 16 and i ended up giving it away because i didn't read it and i'm so mad at myself because i just saw the adaptation or like the trailer for the tv show it looked looks so good you guys and there's like vampires in it and witches and I was just talking about how I really wanted a book where the vampire isn't super tropey you know what I mean I think it was on my coldest girl in cold town um video where you guys were like you gotta read a discovery of witches and I'm like why does that book sound so familiar and then I saw the cover of a discovery of witches and I'm like oh my god I gave that book away because I didn't think I would like it and now I'm regretting it and I'm just like mm. I really want to start watching the tv show but I want to read the book first and I just discovered that they have the audiobook and the ebook on Scribd so I'm considering starting a discovery of witches if any of you guys have read it or listened to the audiobook let me know your thoughts if you think I should just jump into the show or if the book's like worth reading I just found out that Jacqueline Woodson is coming here to Colorado in September for a like book signing or like some book event I need to binge read all of her books before she comes I have three of her books I have Brown Girl Dreaming, Harbor Me, and If You Come Softly. And she has a new book coming out this fall, which is why she's doing like a book tour, I believe. If anyone wants to do like a readathon or like a read with me, a buddy read or something of Jacqueline Woodson's books, let me know because maybe I'll do something like some fall, um, like fall readathon something. I think I got all my books separated up, so I'm gonna start putting them on the shelf back here. I 
have the arcs from here and here like organized I have a little box over here of like recently hauled books that I'm gonna pull out the arcs of it's been a while since I've read like a mythology book this one is lifestyles of gods and monsters I just hauled this one this friend Sarah is finally reading the Percy Jackson series after five years of friendship finally reading my favorite book and I'm so happy last book going on the shelf which actually is like the second book can it fit up there no okay. oh my god put this over here maybe we'll do like i'm trying to make it look i don't know how i feel about that okay my arc shelf is finish do not look at this this does not exist we'll do this in another video why does this low key look the same as it did before i said see this, this is what i mean i organize and then it looks the same all right guys thanks for watching this short little saturday night organize with me video but let me know what organizational videos you want to see in the future because i am the organizational queen obviously until next time keep reading and i will talk to you guys later bye